Okay, folks, the last section that we'll cover for quizzes on Chapter 15, Nuclear Chemistry, is Exercises 15C and 15D, which is radioactive decay. There are some isotopes that just spontaneously fall apart, their nuclei split apart, and form different materials. This is called radioactive decay. And the formula that you have to remember is that the starting mass of this radioactive isotope divided by the remaining mass of this radioactive isotope, in other words, S over R, is equal to 2 to the N. And N is the number of half-lives elapsed or gone by. Gone by the period of time between the starting and the remaining time. Okay, so here are two example problems. They're real similar to the problems you'll see on the test. Be ready for them. So write them down, hit pause, hack at them, and come back and we'll take a look at how you did and do the problems. Got to be careful with sig figs. Okay, hit pause. Okay, you're back. Let's see how we work this. The half-life of tritium, which is this stuff, is 13.3 years. How much tritium will remain in a container with 7.51 grams of tritium in it after 5 point years have gone by? Okay, if we know we have 7.51 grams now, how much will be there 5.5 years from now? So. We're looking at starting over remaining is equal to 2 to the n. How much is left 5.5 years from now? How much is remaining? So we're solving for r, right? So let's solve for r. Multiply both sides by r. Divided by both sides by 2 to the n. What's that give us? r cancels. 2 to the n cancels. is equal to s over 2 to the n. Okay, so we know what s is, right? s is what we start with, 7.51 grams. This has three sig figs. This will determine the number of sig figs in our answer, three sig figs. So what we have to figure out here is what n is. So what is n? n is the number of half-lives that go by in 5.5 years. Notice that there's, when they say the half-life of tritium is 13.3 years, that's saying in word form this conversion factor. Okay, does everybody see that? The half-life of tritium is 13.3 years. That means one half-life is 13.3 years. It's 5.5 years, one half-life. No, it's less than a half of a half-life, okay? 26.6 years is two half-lives, all right? So how do we go about looking at this? Well, we use this as a conversion factor. 5.5 years times one half-life for every 13.3 years equals. So what is 5.5 divided by 13.3? 0 0.4135338. It's taken lots of sig figs. That's the number of half-lives that have gone by in 5.5 years. That's equal to n, okay? So that's how we solve for n. So we're plugging that in to 2 to the 0 0.41354. And it doesn't matter how many sig figs you have, really. If this is 3, I would use 5 in the value of n. Just make sure you have plenty more. Okay, so you have to know how to punch this into your calculator. 2 
y to the x or 2 caret point 4 1 3 5 3 4 is equal to See if this makes any sense to you, okay? First off, if this stuff, this tritium, falls apart spontaneously, that means in 5.5 years there should be less there than whenever you started, right? Of course. So it is less. If we went through one half-life, 13.3 years, remember, one half-life is the amount of time for half of the material that would be in your hand or in a container to disappear. So in two halves lives, it would half would disappear the first time and then another half would disappear. Of whatever is there, you start over the half life. So half of it will be left after 13.3. Half of 7.51 is, oh, I don't know, maybe about four three and a half or three and three quarters, something like that. That's if 13.3 years went by, since only 5.5 should be bigger than that. Okay, so the number makes some sense, hopefully. All right, let's look at the second problem. How many grams of radioactive iodine is used to treat goiter or other kinds of overactive thyroid conditions were used to treat a patient six weeks ago if his follow-up exam shows 0.012 grams that are left in his system of the iodine. The half-life of this stuff is eight days. Eight days. I'm going to draw a little line under days. Got to make sure your units work. Okay, so start the remaining is equal to 2 to the n. What are we solving for here? This is how much is left. This is the remaining, right? So we need to solve for S, which is easy enough. Multiply both sides by R. So S is equal to 2 to the N times R. So how many half-lives have gone by from six weeks ago up till now? Well, let's figure that out. Six weeks times seven days per every one week. You got to make sure that your units work. Times one half life per every eight days. So n is going to be equal to this many half lives. Now six weeks, let's say that's exact. So six times 7 is basically 42 days divided by 8 5 and a quarter half lives have gone by right every 8 days is one half life that's a total of 42 days so 5 and a couple of um, parts about a, like a, a fifth of another half life okay so that's what goes into N. So S is equal to 2 to the 5.25 times remaining is 0 0.012 grams. So it is 2 to the 5.25 power. It's 38.0 five four six times zero point zero one two and you can see where the answer should only have two sig figs the units have to be grams so I'm getting let's 
zero point four six grams. So about a half a gram was placed in this person's body and after six weeks we have less than a uh, less uh, uh, right around a hundredth a hundredth of a gram left okay so does the answer make sense sure there had to be there had to be more there six weeks ago and it's slowly fallen apart turned into something else so that there's hardly any left whenever we look at today and there'll be even less tomorrow okay two sig figs here two sig figs here and the answer be ready for this because you're going to see this on your next exam and also on your final. So, good luck. Practice up 15C, 15D.